What is going on guys? Today's video is sponsored by The Ridge, which is a cool company online selling some different products, specifically The Ridge EDC wallet, which is everyday carry wallet. I'll be honest, I had to look that up. As you can see, this wallet is very small, super compact, but still holds all your essentials, your cards, your licenses, some cash. Uh, and as you can see from before, my previous wallet, which was fine, it was functional, but definitely this wallet is a space saver uh, and looks a little bit nicer as well. So quickly, just to go over the features of this wallet, you've got this little slot right here, this little notch. You can push your cards up from there. You can actually fit 12 cards in there. And if you have more and you really want to comb through them, you just pinch the bottom and do that one-handed and grab any card you want. It's got a cash strap in the back, lifetime warranty. Yeah, this is a cool little wallet. It's be my new wallet I'll be rocking. I will leave a link in the description as to where you can get one of these wallets. And if you use the code GB10, you'll get 10% off your order from The Ridge. But that is the sponsor for today's video. Again, thank you to The Ridge for sponsoring this video. Now back to fishing. Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today's video, we are here at Lake Comanche. It is Friday morning. We are getting here for a tournament this Sunday. So today is Friday. We'll have all of today to pre-fish, tomorrow to pre-fish. Yeah, I got about a day and a half to pre-fish, figure something out for the tournament on Sunday. Historically, I've done okay here, but in all honesty, this is not one of my favorite lakes. This is not one of my favorite lakes. It feels like every time I'm here, I'm dead sticking a drop shot to get a bite. However, I have survived the tournaments we've done here in the past. But today, one goal, one goal only, is to go out, find some fish, find a pattern. Take you guys with me. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, we made it to our first spot. We were gonna start fishing the dam and then just kind of work our way around. I haven't been here in like, I don't know, 10 months. And uh, again, like I said, it's not that this lake's not good. It's just, it, it's good, trust me. I, there are definitely double digit fish in here. Teener, largemouth, like 15 pounders, 16 pounders, eight or nine pound spots. I've never been able to catch any quality fish out of here. I think my biggest fish out of here is probably only like four pounds, which is crazy. Again, practice, the goal of practice is just to find some fish, find a bait mainly or depth that these fish are relating to and uh you know what they're munching on obviously cover some water today but uh you know pre-fishing is all about figuring out somewhat of a pattern so that on sunday we can really try our best to catch five keepers because again this lake can be pretty stingy and five fish limits here are not that easy to come by sometimes Hey friend. Fancy meeting you out here. Guess how many fish I got? Three. Zero. Guess how many bites I got? Zero? Zero. I just talked to a boater. He's been out since daybreak. Does this lake have any bass in it? It used to. They clean them all out. Now they just plant a carp. <laughs> Do you have any beers? This is what it's come to. I'm just randomly throwing a spoon down there at this point. Oh my God, it's been so tough. I'm depressed, dude. Seven hours and I have not had a bite. Let's take it for a second. Dude, you have to sometimes. <laughs> so weird, because usually the Blanchero will not drink on the water unless it's really sh <laughs> Well, I'm drinking. Cheers Friends. to skunking three days in a row. That's my goal. <laughs> hey, I'm up for anything at this point. Did it? I was out there for eight hours. I didn't get a bite. I threw everything at him too. That's a hard day. Isn't it? Oh yeah, it hurts. It hurts. You sure there's fish in this lake? Yeah. I've seen them. They're bass too. I think this is just a carp lake. It's just a skunk coming off of Greg. Dude. Oh, Jesus Christ, God. You already know the news. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a party house. Damn, double beds? Yeah. Well, guys, we are back at the cabin. Not doing the truck camping deal, so we got a cabin moving on up in this world, which will be a nice change of pace. But uh, what was not nice today was that uh, the fishing was non existent. I, I felt like I was fishing in a lake with nothing in it. Uh, it is part of fishing, it happens, and if you fish enough, it will happen to you, but today was one of those days for me. So, 
Uh, yeah, we are back at the cabin and uh, chilling with some of the fellas right now. I will say this, I do not like Comanche as a fishery. However, I think it's a pretty fun lake to hang out. Yeah, we're just here. <laughs> hanging out. And tossing the dark horse. Mike, did you get bites today? No. It was tough. It was a very tough day of fishing, but it always is at Lake Comanche. Got a day to figure it out. One more day. All right, guys, so that is gonna be day one of pre-fish. I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. about 11 o'clock a little bit later start than we had hoped for but uh that's how it goes sometimes hopefully today we can figure something out because we have a tournament tomorrow where i need to catch a fish i might have to participate in the skunk pot that they have if i don't catch one today trying a different part of the lake we fished the main lake yesterday now we're heading up the river so maybe there are fish here that are willing to bite you we'll see Big old spot right there. There was a big old spot. That was like a four pound spot. Gosh, there was actually a fish in this lake? That's crazy. There are giants in here. That was encouraging to see a fish though. I'm gonna show you guys one of the best fish finders you can ever use. If you guys are ever wondering if there's fish in a certain area, just tie on a glide bait. You might not get bites, but you'll definitely get followers. Oh my god, what is that? Is that a carp? It's like a messed up carp right there. Look at that. It's a carp. It's like a dying carp right there. That's weird. What's up, man? What up, dude? Yeah, I'm at the river. I'm in uh, that one spot we fished together a couple years back or whatever. Yeah, any good? Mm -hmm. Not even a fish on the ground, dude. They will not bite anything. I'm gonna go up river here once I leave this spot. Alright, well, I'm sure you'll see me. Alright, later, dude. Oh, yeah, this is a tough bite. This is how you catch fish. Ah, oh, dang it. It's my new strategy. I'm not even looking at my graph. I'm just letting it be. My eyes are closed. Blind fishing. I hope you did better than me. There's no possible way unless you caught negative fish. I caught zero fish. I never even. Let's go back right there. Right by the ramp? Yeah. That just happened guys. You saw it and uh, again it's always an odd time for me to talk about the day because I haven't made the video yet but hopefully I showcased how much I fished and here's a little summary of what happened. We got here yesterday, we fished all today, fished a total of about 15 hours over the past two days and I got the big zero, the skunk, goose egg, however you want to put it. I did not get a single bite over 15 hours. That may be the longest ever I've gone without actually getting a bite. Extremely tough fishing. I did not figure them out. Could not really even find them. I just hit, was clueless out there and I know it was definitely tough out there for other people but other people were at least catching them. I can't remember the last time I will have released a video where I did not include a single fish catch in the entire video. Yeah leave a comment below what, when was the last time I uploaded a video without one bass in the video. But anyways the silver lining. Silver lining is that we skunked during pre-fish. Remember this is leading up to a tournament which is tomorrow and uh, <laughs> definitely a Eliminated a lot of water, figured out what not to do, and uh, I guess that is the silver lining. This was pre-fish, so tomorrow's the day that counts. Tomorrow is the tournament day, and I do not know what I'm going to do. I think I'm probably just going to cover more water, cover new water, fish maybe a little bit deeper, fish a little bit slower, wing it. As you guys know, videos upload every three days, so in three days, 
I will be uploading the tournament video itself. It is fishing, anything can happen. We've learned that many times throughout the year, throughout the past, that anything can happen in fishing, anything can happen on tournament day. That is the video, I apologize for skunking, but you guys know the deal. I show you the good, the bad, the ugly, the skunks, the goose eggs, and it is what it is. Thank you guys for coming along, watching. Cheers, and let's cross our fingers for a fish on tournament day.